So welcome back to my channel. Today's video is in collaboration with Melanie Thompson. In today's video, we're kicking off my fall decorating series, and Melanie Thompson and I are working on the mantle. So this is what we decided to collaborate on. So let me let Melanie introduce herself and what she's all about over on her channel. Hi, welcome everyone. My name is Melanie and the name of my channel is Melanie Thompson. On my channel, you can expect to see country primitive farmhouse style decorating throughout the seasons and for holidays. The majority of decor that I use is thrifted, so I will definitely take you along on my thrifting and antiquing adventures and also show you what I found in a haul video. I also share DIYs and baking. I also have a vendor booth at the Crossroads Country Mall and I'm currently doing a new weekly series on Wednesdays at 7 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Every week I spotlight a new vendor at the Crossroads Country Mall. I give you a tour of everything that that vendor has for sale. Then at the end of the video, I will create a display or vignette only using that vendor's items. If all of this sounds like something that you'd be interested in, I hope you'll stop over and give my channel a visit. Thank you so much. Okay, friends, let's get to decorating and I'll start out with decorating my mantle and then I'll show you the rest of my living room. So thank you, Melanie, for collaborating with me today. And everyone, after watching my video, be sure and go over and say hi to Melanie and her information will be linked in the description box below. Okay guys, welcome back and let's get decorating. Now these are just stable pieces and as you can see, I have brought in my twin chairs in my living room for the fall season. And so I moved the one recliner to the bedroom and these I have brought out on each side of the fireplace. So we're gonna sort of test and see how we like those for the season and whether we want to leave them there. So as you can see, these are just staple pieces. I'm leaving the uh, mirror that I got from Hobby Lobby uh, up there. That thing is heavy and I decided that I wanted it to be a staple piece and I will decorate around it. So let's go ahead and add our first items. First items I brought in is my Demijohn jars. And I got those from Kirkland. And I just love them up there. I have had them here on my console before, but I really do like them. And I shared those stems that I got this year from Hobby Lobby. And I am loving the color, a little bit of sage, a little bit of muted orange, along with those blackberry stems. And I just love those. So let's go ahead and add our next item. The next item is this sign, and I got it last year on clearance after fall. And I think I paid maybe around four or five dollars for it at Hobby Lobby. And I have put it up until this year and this is where I decided to place it this year, the Hello Pumpkin Sign. The next item that I've added, you can barely see up there, but it is my small wooden dough bowl I got this years ago from Hobby Lobby. And I am going to add just a few pumpkins to my fireplace in my mantle area. Now the pumpkins that I added to the dough bowl, uh, the orange pumpkin and the white pumpkin are the realistic type pumpkins that came from Kirkland's. And I can't remember if I got those last year or the year before. And then the, the stem with the wheat and the pumpkin and the muted leaves came from Hobby Lobby. The next items I added was the black candlesticks. I wanted to balance that sign out and have a little bit of dimension there on the other side of the dough bowl. So I added the three black candlesticks and those candles 
Also, they're battery operated. They came from Hobby Lobby also. So let's go ahead and that is the top of my fireplace, my mantle, and let's move on to the bottom of my fireplace. On the left side of the fireplace at the bottom, I want it to balance out where I have my candlesticks and my riser. All of that came from Hobby Lobby years ago, and I still love it, and I still like to bring it out. So the basket, I cannot remember where I got that from. It's probably in one of my past hauls. And I got some of the little beads, it says blessed, and those came from Hobby Lobby. So let's move on to my next item. To soften up the basket, I added a thrifted blanket that I got from a yard sale for $3. And I still love the color, it's a soft ivory. And I thought I would add just a pop of color there with the fall sweet fall pillow that I got from Kirkland's years ago. I'm still bringing out some of my old and I did have a little bit of new this year that I just added to my decor. Adding just a few more pumpkins uh, to the mix and that's all the pumpkins I think that I'm going to bring there on my fireplace and my mantle but the old looking Vessel pots. I got those from Hobby Lobby. I love those. I can use them in so many different rooms, but I have chosen to use it by my fireplace until we open it up. Right now it's still very warm and we will use our fireplace later on in the fall and in the winter time. But I added some of the little wheat to that larger vessel and those came from Hobby Lobby. Now I'm going to go ahead and my collaboration with Melanie was doing our fall mantle and I want to go ahead and just show you what else I have added to my living room area and that will complete that area for the fall decorating. So let me show you what else I have put together. Okay, to share the rest of my living room, I have added my sage and ivory curtains balance at my back door and over here on this antique table I have added a riser and a pumpkin and just a very soft and light throw on the chair along with the pillow that I got from Amazon and the other side says blessed but I just love this side and coming on around at this chair over here, I just added a leaf pillow. I've had that, I think I got that from amazon.com many, many years ago. I think they still have it. And over here on my TV, we're eventually going to put that up on the wall. So I'll have a little bit more decorating space there but added a couple of pumpkins in there. And then over here in the lantern, I have the aqua vase in there with some fall florals. And I think I used those on the mantle last year. Now over here on, the, on my end table, I don't have, I didn't change anything out. There is just a leaf, a wooden leaf added down there. I'd like to see if I can find a fall picture of the hubby and I to go there. And then this is my sofa. I just left these lots from Hobby Lobby with the asparagus greenery. I love that color. I've used it all summer and I'm just not tired of it yet so I want to continue with that and under there I don't have anything but a little lantern and a candle and then on my sofa I got my pillow covers from amazon.com and also my throw 
and I just love the way that looks and that is my green and that is my living room for fall of 2023. I hope that I have inspired you in today's video to make your own home a cozy place for you and your loved ones. I hope in this autumn season it finds you well. I want it to create a very cozy warm and comfortable place for my husband and I to retreat each evening. Thanks for being here guys and I'll see you in my next video.